So let's see the tabular form of all the special angles taken into consideration for all the trigonometric ratios. So I take the theta here and then I take each of the standard angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 and I take sine theta cos theta tan theta cosecant secant and cot are the six trigonometric ratios which I take on the left hand side and this on the right hand side of the angles. So first I have 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 and 1 root 3 by 2 this coming to cosecant and then finally with secant therefore to start with cot is 1 by this and I got cot 30 as root 3 and then it's 1 1 over root 3 and 0 So these are the six trigonometric ratios whose special angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 are identified for each of the ratios. Say for example, I would like to find cos 60, then I go to the cos column and then to the 60 column, then 1 by 2 is cos 60. And say I wanted to find secant 45, I go to the column of secant and I go to 45 and I get root 2. Finally, cot 90, I go to cot and then I go to 90 and then cot 90 is 0 is how I intersect between finding the ratios. So all the ratios with their special angles which we have found can be easily identified through the table and memorized through the tabular form of writing the trigonometric ratios in tabular, tabular form for the special angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. Now different students can memorize this in a different manner. The choice is left to you in how you're going to memorize the table with some shortcuts of the mathematical pattern identified here. This is reverse of this and this is division of this. This three are the reverses of this or there are many ways through which you can memorize this table through the shortcut methods as invented by many teachers who attend on this. So what do you understand between especially the sign and cos as seen from the table? Clearly, when I see the sine row, the row containing the sine values of the special angles out here, I see that as the special angle increases towards right, my sine value also increases towards right. But when I go to the cosine angle, I switch to the second row where I observe that as my special angle increases towards right, my cos theta or the cosine of the angle tries to reduce to zero. One reduces to zero. Therefore, the learning outcome from sine and cos is that as theta increases, sine theta increases equally. And similarly, when I just investigate for cos, as theta increases, cos theta decreases or when theta decreases cos theta increases that is they are inversely proportional where this increases implies this and this increases implies this decreases mathematically for a greater than b implies sine a is greater than sine b or equal or when a is greater than or equal to b implies 
cos A is less than or equal to cos B is how mathematically I identify the increasing and decreasing concepts, concepts when connected to the mathematical understanding. So when theta increases, sine theta increases, or when theta decreases, sine theta decreases. But here, coming to the cosine, they are inversely proportional because when theta increases, the cosine angle decreases, or when theta decreases, the cosine angle increases, taken respectively with mathematical definitions. This is how we identify through the tabular column of special angles connected with trigonometric ratios.